Today we are very pleased to announce the new version of SRS, or better known as Stamp Recognition Software. We have added some great new features which will greatly increase the speed of finding and processing your scanned stamps. We will go over these new features in several videos over the next week or so. Today's video will be a general introduction to the new Auto Separate feature now incorporated into SRS and we will show you how to use it effectively. The new SRS is especially useful for processing page scans of stamps where there are multiple countries represented in the scan. Since EasyStamp and SRS allow you to work with multiple countries at the same time, it's simple to process them. I have already prepared a scan of multiple stamps from multiple countries and another one for all Canadian stamps. I'll show you both uh, later. We will process the one with multiple countries uh, first. So let's start SRS in global mode. So we go to the extras menu, SRS, and select global mode. Once you become familiar with it, you can just use the shortcut keys. But for now, I'll do it the traditional way. So here's uh, the new version of SRS. Notice that there is now an auto separate checkbox. So we'll check that. And I will now select the other options which will optimize the searches to be extremely fast and finally enable the uh, global search option to allow searching uh, more than one country at a time. So let's do that. So I selected the global search and now I'm going to select the countries. Now what I do is I save my list of countries so I can reuse them. For example, I have Asian and Russian, British Commonwealth, Germany and colonies. Today I created one called Mix. So as you can see, this um, uh, list contains Canada, Belgium, German French Zone, Germany, Mozambique and USA. So I'll click Done and we're now ready to, uh, to start. Now um, we can load an image, make sure you have auto separate uh, selected or checked. You can drag and drop the, uh, the scan, paste it from the clipboard or load it from disk. I'll show you all three methods. So first I'm going to select load image and then we'll click the tractor icon and then we'll just select the scan that we want to process. And there it is. The second method is to paste it from the clipboard. So I have my image scanned in Easy Image. I'm going to do a Control A to select everything, Control C to put it into the clipboard, and then switch back to um, SRS and paste it from the clipboard. So we'll click Load and Paste from the clipboard here. And there it is. And then the third method would be simply just to drag and drop it. And what I'll do is I'll just drag the image from wherever I have saved it and just drop it into the uh, SRS window and it will load and we're ready to go. Okay. Um, so first I'm going to show you that this scan has multiple images from multiple countries. We can just kind of scroll down and you can take a look and see what, what I've kind of already scanned here. And then we'll go back to the top. Okay. So I will first describe the functions of the icons in this window and then we'll proceed to uh, do the actual analysis. So this tractor icon here is used to load a page scan from disk. Make sure that you scan your stamps against a black background at 150 or 300 dpi. The next icon, as you saw, is to paste an image that has been placed into the Windows clipboard. As I showed you, I was using Easy Image and I pasted that in there. Then the third one, third way was to use the auto separate. The next icon, which is this one here, is the auto separate icon, which I will show you momentarily. We also have a crop tool, the floating tool window, and then the return to auto separate display window. Then we have the 
close the auto separate window entirely and finally the SRS manual when you click on help so when you click that you'll get a PDF manual make sure that you uh, read the uh, the SRS auto separate functionality it's explained in fair detail with a lot of images to kind of help you along I highly recommend that you uh, you spend the time and read that manual okay so now um, we're ready to uh, proceed with the uh, uh, the actual separation and then processing of the images so let's get started so we g begin by clicking the separate and identify icon here which is this one so right now um, we're analyzing images and it's separate everything so as you can see the first image it found um, what we need to do first is um, for uh, for global searches, uh, they require a denomination to be uh, to be entered. If you don't know the currency used, just enter the numerical value that you can see on the stamp. So for the stamp that we see here, it is 6.5. So we'll enter that. And then we click on this icon here to transfer that to SRS and begin the search. So as you can see, it found it right away. I'm going to right click on this and add this to um, uh, be inventoried once I'm done with uh, the separation process. And now we're going to click on the next uh, image to be processed. So now we just change the denomination to 17 and click transfer. And it found it. So we right click, add it to my inventory and just keep repeating. So we'll change this to a 10. And we add that one. And here's another 17. We'll add that. As you can see, these go pretty quick. So once I'm done with all these, I'll show you how we actually inventory those in Easy Stamp because it will remember all the ones that we've found. Now here's a stamp from Mozambique and what it's going to do now, it's going to actually switch countries and find that. And there we go. This one had found a self-adhesive and the perf variety. That's the one that I want. Now this stamp, um, the seven cent U uh, Washington stamp has multiple varieties. Um, these are probably watermark and perf varieties so we would need to verify those before we inventory them so let's close that and continue so as you can see a used stamp is usually not an issue uh, as long as it doesn't um, uh, conceal a significant portion of the stamp it will not be an issue So let's find this one. So this stamp was not identified and it's not surprising. Um, I specifically scanned this stamp in the wrong orientation to show you what can happen. 
So it's simple enough to fix. All we need to do is rotate this stamp into the proper orientation. So I'll rotate this counterclockwise and resubmit it. And then we'll find it right away. So I'll add that one. So here's a stamp that's uh, moderately canceled. It should find it, but let's see. As you can see, things progress pretty quickly. So here's another one where there are multiple varieties. We would have to check the uh, the perforations or watermarks. And here's another one. So the, again, there are multiple varieties of this one. I happen to know that it is that one. do this one and we'll add that one as well okay so we've now finished with that scan there were no no more images to process so we can close this so SRS is closed and as soon as you close it it will recall all the stamps that you had found and you can uh, choose to view them uh, as a list or as uh, thumbnail images. I prefer the thumbnails, which allows me to bounce back and forth. So, for example, if I wanted to inventory this stamp now, I can just double click on it, go to the uh, uh, grade that I want. So, in this case, it's used very fine. And off we go. You can then go back to uh, SRS and recall the results again and continue on with your other stamps. So if I wanted to inventory this Mozambique one, double click it, it loads it up and then let me just move that out of the way and then just choose the grade that you have and inventory it and just continue. So if I wanted to inventory that one I can double click on it. I can actually close this now and proceed with my inventory. So now I'm going to show you the Canada scan that I had previously prepared. So I'm going to start SRS again in global mode. And we'll set everything as we had before. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put Canada in the, in the list. Okay, and now I'm going to load the image that I had prepared. And there it is. I'll scroll through it so you can see there's quite a few images here. So we'll start by uh, auto-separating them. So click this icon here. And we'll wait for the process to finish. And you can start going through them. Normally I would uh, inventory each one of these, but I'm just kind of showing you how the separate process works. So when you see one we could easily go ahead and inventory it. So let's say we wanted to find that one. Type in 50C, find it, and there it is. So there's some officials, and we'll add this one. And I'll just continue on so that you can see how effectively it separates everything. All right, so I'll close that, and again, it'll pull up the stamp that I had found. Okay, so in the next video, I'll show you how to use the other tools for effective use of the SRS auto separate functions. And finally, another video on tips and do's and don'ts for SRS. We hope you've enjoyed this.